Major Mohammed Ali Shah, we're seeing now that uh, uh, mass arrests have begun. Several people, 33 people, in fact, have been handed over to military courts uh, for uh, a trial. And uh, we're in fact seeing that this comes as PTI slowly is imploding, according to some. Several of their leaders are resigning. And uh, Imran and his supporters now believe that this is an attempt made uh, clearly to get rid of the major opposition in the, in the country. Absolutely, Aarti, Aarti. They had, uh, they had Nazi Rana Sanaullah, the interior minister who was to the home minister, said that they had nabbed 5,000 people, uh, PK supporters, out of which 80% were released on uh, bail. They had 16 with them, now they caught 17 more, which makes the uh, toll uh, to 33. So now these, see, in 1952, when the Pakistani Army Act came into place, that time, General Ayub Khan, who was the president of Pakistan in 1966, he, he amended the constitution a bit and he said, any civilian who would incite violence against the military, who would incite mutiny within the military, who would cause heavy casualty in the, within the military circuit, can be tried as per the Army Act of Pakistan 1966. So they said, okay, now on 9th May, what happened? These civilians went on rampage. They, dis they destroyed army bases, army camps. They attacked the core commander's house, GOC44, General Salman. They attacked the radio station of Pakistan. So the heavy casualty, heavy damage was done on uh, 9th of May. Now, in the protest between the PTI workers and the government, in that rampage, about 10 people were killed in that. So, most certainly, the people, the army had... See, army rules the rules in Pakistan, that's accepted, it's a fact. And anyone who has thought that he is larger than the army has had to meet a sorry fate. I can give you the example of uh, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. He was so popular in Pakistan and he became so powerful that the entire Pakistan would call him daddy. Ultimately, what happened? The Pakistani military, they hung him. They uh, executed him through a high court order, of course, to legitimize it. Similarly, now, there have been a series of such events. The first Prime Minister in 1951, Lakhat Ali Khan, was assassinated in 1951. Look at uh, the former Prime Minister, Bender Bhutto. He also was assassinated. General uh, Parvez Musharraf was uh, allegedly behind the attack. So, there have been a series of these uh, uh, kind of assassinations mm. of the former Prime Minister. Now, when the uh, Pakistan government says we will try 33 of these uh, suspects from PTI in the mm. military court, mm. they, legally speaking, they would not be wrong in uh, trying them to the military order because that order was already issued in 1966. So, I, and anything can happen in Pakistan, basically, just anything. It's so unpredictable. There were rumors of uh, the president and Arif Alvi, their chief justice, Justice Omar resigning and uh, being in troubled waters. There are a whole lot of things happening in Pakistan, which is uh, much more than that meets the eye, in fact. And at the same time, I'm sure there would be a negotiation somewhere. Imran Khan, uh, earlier he would say, Don ko pakarna mushkil hai, right, na right. hai. Right? And now it was, it's totally different. When uh, uh, they arrested, the violence only came down. When Imran Khan was arrested, was released from his arrest, in fact, that's the time the, it calmed down. There was an uneasy calm in Pakistan. Right, right. Right, Major so, Shah, thank yeah. you for joining us and uh, sharing your thoughts on these international developments.